let's look at a couple of specific of, um, changes and their effect on equilibrium. Let's look at a concentration change, and this is more related to the uh, changing the population in Middle Earth. If we add product to an equilibrium, the rate of the reverse reaction increases. And diagrammatically, this is all like what we were doing with Middle Earth. We were adding people on the right side, and that caused the migration to go to the left more than it had been. So in this equilib chemical equilibrium, if we add product, remember the reaction is going both ways, the reverse reaction will now go faster because it says, oh, you added a bunch of product, I'm going to do something to make that go away. I want to get back to where I was. Okay, Just like you know, institutions tend to maintain the status quo. People don't like it when you rock the boat and try to shake things up. Like, no, we like it how it is. And so they fight you, right? So that's what this reaction is doing. So the reaction will shift to the left, bringing the concentration of the product closer to where it was. Now, it's not necessarily going to go back exactly where it was, but it's going to go in that direction. Here's um, a picture. So here we have our little NO2 molecules, and here's our N2O4 molecules. And there's a mixture here. It's in equilibrium. And if we add some NO2 particles, which is the product, into here, we disturb the equilibrium. Because there are now more of these, the reaction where those react to form this can increase and the reverse reaction speeds up because the rate of that reaction was dependent on the concentration of the reactants of the things reacting so the equilibrium gets disturbed and what we find here is that these added NO2 molecules are going to react and they're going to produce more N2O4 molecules in an effort to decrease the NO2 population What if we do the opposite? What if we add reactants? Oh, well, what does the equilibrium want to do? We added reactant, it wants to reduce reactant. So the way it can do that is the forward reaction will speed up to reduce this. We made it larger, it's trying to bring it back down. So if you add more reactant, the concentration shifts to the right. And, and no worries, it was just a model kit going all over the floor. It happens. I'm surprised it hasn't happened before. Um, so here's the picture of that. Now we're adding these guys, the N2O4s. When there's more of these, they're going to react, and the forward reaction increases. So do you get the idea here? If you add something, the reaction will shift to reduce that, to get rid of what you added. It can shift forward or it can shift back. So if we increase the concentration of one or more reactants, the reaction will shift in the direction of the products. And the opposite, if we increase one of the products, the reaction shifts in the direction of the reactants. So let's look at this example. Here's our equation. What is the effect of adding more bromine to the reaction mixture? So we're adding this. What's going to happen? It will shift to the left, right? Because it wants to undo what we did. It wants to fight back. So it says you added more bromine. Well, I'm going to react backwards and get rid of that bromine that you added. So how we usually express this is we'll say it shifts to the left. So we'll say the, the reaction will shift to the left. What if we add BRNO? It'll shift to the right. What if we remove some bromine? It'll shift to the right. 
Because if we remove bromine, it's fighting back. It wants to increase the bromine. You took my bromine. Well, I'm going to make some more. Right? I, I learned all that from my kids. Um, so it'll shift to the right. So those are the sorts of questions that we need to be able to answer about this topic. Any questions?